changed around here. About 20 years ago, I decided to leave Fowler. I moved out to Hollywood. Fowler is all about chickens. It's home of the fighting cocks. We've got an annual Renaissance festival. We uh, have a chicken daycare, which my sister and I just inherited, by the way. Well, girls, look like you just inherited yourselves a daycare. Stay here. She's uh, allergic to birds and... Oh, that's great. It's gonna be, I don't know. I might need to just go home because no. I don't know that this is gonna work out. I don't be able to I, I just don't know. This well, she could stay up here. I guess that would be... That's it. You stay, you work the desk. That's it. See, Less she stays in here. with the birds. When I was about 13, I wrote this jingle for snacky cakes and, well, I won. How's that? Based on just how how many people, especially here in Fowler, were just so encouraging for my talent. I knew I had to move out to Hollywood. I knew I had to do something. Since you were late. Uh, I'm not going to have time for any kind of an orientation today. Uh, parents are going to be here any minute. Let's get to it. I'm All excited. Right. Enid, I, I do not share your enthusiasm. I'm busy. I'm out in Hollywood. I've got stuff to do. I can't stay here and help you with some cheap day Do you really have a lot going on in Hollywood? Do you really? Their grandmother left them this wonderful opportunity with this daycare, and all they want to do is argue. Uh, these two girls barely speak. They don't really like each other very much. Uh, I babysat them when they were tiny little kids. And they were brats then. I don't imagine they've changed much now. Next thing, you know what I think? I think this is about Rick. I think this is about Rick. And you're still hanging on to this thing. And it on, didn't girls. even, nothing even happened. They're lucky they got me. I'm about to move to Louisiana and start work for Randazzo, Giglio, and Bailey. As soon as I pass the bar. You have no idea. I cannot believe you brought up Rick. Okay, so what's so going to happen? They come in, they have their bird, they have the backpack, and they have the uh, nap mat, and they're going to sign their name, and they're going to put the time that they uh, drop the bird off. And we're going to take the bird, and they're going to go back here in the playroom, and um, they'll be on their way. It's very simple. It shouldn't okay. be complicated. Here is a schedule. Oh, here comes Bart following you. Here comes Bart following you. Uh, at 2 o'clock. Yes. I, I can take one. No, and then, Hi. no. Hi. Introduce you to okay. the new owners. Anyway, so, hey, what? can you hold on one second? Hey, thanks. Here. Okay. Oh, this hi. is Bart Please followers. make sure he gets his nap today. He has a jiu-jitsu and a viola lesson. Okay, so you make mind that signing in? Anyway, I really Just don't have time here? to do oh, this. Could you, is there like an e-sign? I can do a one-time sign uh, sign No, that, well, we'll do it. Uh, Just here? go yeah. on your way. Okay. And yeah. If you're busy, anyway, busy, and busy then, day. Um, wow. Oh. When we were in high school, probably about 18 years old, my sister Enid betrayed me. She betrayed a trust that I held sacred. She knew that I liked Rick. She knew that I wrote about Rick in my journal because I know that she read my journal. She knew that I went to the football games every Friday night, sat in the front row, wearing my my Fowler Pride jacket. Sounds like fun. Yet she betrayed me. I was riding my bike one day, just out 
riding my bike, getting a little exercise, seeing the trees and the wildlife. I saw my sister. She came out with Rick. She came out with Rick and they were dusting themselves off. I don't have to tell you what they were doing. I don't have to tell you at all, because you know, right? You know. Yes. Here come the twins. Good morning. Good morning. Tyler and Sydney. Are. Tyler and Sydney. Yes. Oh, Max, are you okay? There we go. Yeah, what do you think, Maxine? Aren't they cute? Oh, now, these yes. are the new owners. This is Enid hi. and Maxine. Oh, hi. So nice to meet you. Hi. They're so beautiful. How Aren't are we going to tell them apart? Well, Tyler has a, kind of an eye issue. So when you get up close, you can see that Tyler has a kind of a bad eye. Well, oh. I, I'm not going to get up close. So how am I going to know? Tie. How am I going to know? Tie eye. Tie eye. Tie tie eye. eye. I remember tie bad eye. Bad eye tie. In the meantime, we can tie a ribbon. I've ordered an eye patch. I'm oh, so excited. In pink, I know. Oh, oh, oh yes, good. yes, I'm so excited. Oh, that'd be wonderful. Oh, nice to meet you. It's a lot of birds. Oh, here comes Jordan. Jordan's a nice bird. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Jordan. We're all here. Hi. Hi. Um, see, we've got some new employees. Yes, uh, these are the new owners, Maxine and Enid. And Enid. Hi, Hi. Your bird is beautiful. Oh, thank you. She's um, a little nervous. Uh, okay, all right. It'll be all right. Ready? Okay, okay, sweetheart. Go ahead. There we go. I, I know, honey. It's, I know. it's all right, Jordan. This is fine. Okay. Jordan. This is Jordan. Hi, Jordan. Oh, Jordan. Just, I mean, just be careful of her little neck. I it's it's so sensitive. Yeah. Just make sure. I've got her sunscreen in here. Oh, for fine. Her. Oh, great. Right. And, and, just, and be careful of her th items. She's a little nervous about the other chickens. We'll Don't worry. worry. Oh, oh, We're excited to be here. She's beautiful. We're going to have a great time. Right. Jordan, you're there so you go. pretty. And... Is this about Rick? It is not about Rick. No, Nothing ever even just... happened. <sighs> you know what? You know what this is about? This is about I am. I'm allergic to chickens. I'm allergic to the dander of chickens. Girl, Nobody's allergic girl, to chickens. Girl, I've had enough of this argument. Rick was this boy in high school that she liked, and there was a misunderstanding, and she thought something happened between the two of us, but nothing happened with Rick and I. We were in the barn. I slipped on a cow patty. He helped me up. End of right. story. Oh God, I did not see that fresh <laughs> patty. It's disgusting. Yeah, that was fresh. How's it going back there? You're fine. I'm oh, good. Well, good morning. Hello. Hello. Who's this? Oh, Olivia, how cute. Olivia, I love her bag. Yes, this is really sweet, and she likes being in there too. Hi, her, Olivia. Cubby. And uh, do you have her nap mat? And let's see. Oh, yeah. Let me just give she this has to asthma. You. Okay. We'll, we'll uh, take care of this. Hey, there's one other thing. Uh, is she losing feathers? Would you hang on to them for me? Put them in her cubby or something? Okay. Any I think feathers? she's going through her first molt, and I want to keep her. Oh, okay. First molt. Down. Is that a he, big, big thing? Heat molted feathers. Oh, nice. For Olivia. Nice, girl. We'll do. Okay. Hi, Anything you else? It. I think we're good. Okay. You have a great you day. Thank you. Be careful Bye. on that motorcycle now. Yeah, well. Remember that. If, well, if she loses any feathers, we need to keep her feathers. Did you hear that? Yeah. Yes. Okay. What's molt? Uh, periodically, they lose their feathers and get new ones. And oh. he apparently wants to keep the old feathers. Maybe so, he scrapbooks. Well, probably so. To each his own. Yeah. It's probably a good okay. idea. Sentimental kind of guy. This is my son, Sunshine. Say hi, Sunshine. And he is unschooled. He is an unschooled child, and I'm proud of that. It's not conventional around here, especially. But uh, Mother Nature's the best teacher, in my opinion. Uh, unfortunately, Sunshine's daddy, my husband, Brian, he uh, passed away in a fatal factory accident. He was sucked into an extruder. Mom was sick, and you left. I couldn't come back. I had a contract. I was in Hollywood. I had a contract. You know what? I just think I need to go. It was a very bad idea. You didn't even have a place you know to stay. I got some place to stay. Where are you staying? Don't well, you worry about it. I got some place to stay. The Renaissance Festival is going on right now. I got some place Look. to stay. Well. Um, there were no hotels available in town because the Renaissance Festival is this week, and 
If you've ever been to Fowler during the Renaissance Festival, you know everybody comes from miles and miles around, and there's just there's not a hotel to be had. Yes, um, hello, Miss Maddox. This is Charlene with the leasing company. I was calling to tell you that Mr. Hopkins is not going to be able to renew your lease as the building is scheduled to be demolished. You have 30 days. Well, right now, I guess I'm staying here, and it's not the fanciest of quarters, but. You know, I'll make do. I may be a Hollywood girl now, but I'm from Fowler. I know how to I know how to be strong and I know how to make the best of what I got, so I suppose I just need to cozy up and and just stay here for a little while. But Enid and Connie sure don't need to know I'm staying here. Neither does Daddy. No. It'll be fine. It's just for a short time. Well, girls, we had a very productive day, but um, I don't know. I don't know if you guys are going to be cut out for this. It's I had fun. You did? Well, it's really dirty work. you got to carry water. I like dirt. But Maxine, I don't know if you're cut out to be walking around the birds. This is, this is too much. I, it's, well, it's, like, it's your first day. I know. I know it is, and I just know right now that I don't like it. Today was busy, and today was miserable. Well, you know, I have to say, uh, no offense, but this really isn't a good environment for a young child either. This is the perfect environment for a young child, Connie. I can't even think of a more perfect environment. And the fact that he is unschooled, this is, if he's going to go to school, this is the perfect school. But he's distracting. The chickens love him. Did you see them? How they perked up when he was around? He would come in the room. He lights That's up. That's because he's the wild room. like them. He's wild. We don't have room for a, another wild animal in here. What do you know about him? We're staying. We're staying. You're staying. We're gonna give it some time. Mm -hmm. Everything's gonna be fine. Well, we'll it's y'all. It's y'all's decision. I'm just. I'm just. Well, it's decided. Out the hard facts. I'm deciding of, for us. A big day. Thank you, day Connie, care. for showing how us how to do everything today. You're welcome. And everything's gonna be fine, man. Once again, Maxine has no say in the situation. Well, Maxine's I don't want to get in the middle of this. Maxine's are never. I think I hear the birds insane. calling me. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Goodbye, Connie. Bye, Bye. Connie. See you tomorrow. I'm just glad I'm not going to be here much longer. I don't know that my lungs can handle it. I don't know that my brain can handle it. And Connie, she's just the worst of it. I thought it was going to be better. I thought it might be better, but hey, I shouldn't have gotten my hopes up.